He smells like a new pool float or shower curtain. Hello everyone, Earned a Worm here, and today I have another one of the McFarlane Assassin's Creed figures to have a look at with you guys. And this one is Ah to Buy, I guess is how you say that. A character that I wasn't real familiar with, but I did pick up the figure because I found it at Dollar General uh, for I think about $10.00 which was pretty cheap for these figures because the other ones I think I paid around $15 for most of them. So even though he wasn't a real familiar assassin, I did pick him up. Um, he is from the Series 3 Wave, and here are the other characters you can get in the series. And I actually have the Ezio, the Edward Kenway, and the Mayan Outfit. The Arno from the worst Assassin's Creed game made. And I still need the Altair, which I hope to pick up soon. And that will complete the Series 3. But actually, he is from Black Flag. I did look it up. And he was actually training the Assassins in the Caribbean. So, he played a pretty important role for the Assassins. And I picked him up pretty cheap, so I figured why not he would look good displayed with the other assassins. There's only a couple of other ones I actually want to pick up, which is Connor, Altair, and Adwali. So I am going to get him out of packaging now, and we will have a closer look at him. Okay, now I have the figure out of packaging, and there just there really ain't a whole lot I can say about him. I mean. He smells like a new pool float or shower curtain. He only came with one accessory and it is this spear. Which is really nice. I really like those feathers hanging down on it. The kind of gunmetal gray on that blade on it is really cool. Pretty long stick on it. So no more than I gave for the figure. It's just about worth it to have this spear. And like I said he will look good displayed with the other assassins. But here is the figure itself. Nice sculpt on the face. I don't remember if that looks exactly like the character. But it is a nice face sculpt. And I like the paint under the eyes. Very cool. He even kind of has a uh, 5 o'clock shadow going on the, the lip and the chin. With some more paint or tattoo. The clothing is very nicely detailed as it always is with McFarlane stuff. I really like the sculpt work he does. It just, I don't know, it just looks amazing, I always think, with these textures and details. So really nice kind of faded war look on it. Lots of buckles and straps and like all the assassins have. Got a nice little assassin symbol there. Very cool figure. His arms are a little skinny though. I don't know why they gave him these little skinny bird arms. I like this little wrist piece on this side but there is no blade in it or anything. It didn't come with a blade. I don't know if he actually uh, had a hidden blade so. Um, and articulation is very hindered by this stuff. I mean it, these McFarlane Assassin's Creed figures are just incredible looking. Um, I do like to pose my figures to display them but these pieces are amazing looking and so I love picking these up. Just the look they get out of them is worth picking them up for me. It's more like a statue. So I don't really, I wish you could pose them but I'm sure if you could pose them you wouldn't get this look because they have this is made of a harder like rubber like plastic. So if you wanted articulation, they would have had to change that to maybe a real cloth or softer. But there's just no way you would get this look and articulation. So I guess they would have rather pulled off this look than gave it better articulation. Like these shoulders are not barely going to move at all. That's about all you can get up because of this part of the clothing. I mean, this arm I think goes a little farther but it's just the look they get with that clothing and stuff. It sacrifices the articulation. Uh, at least they put enough in there with the ankles and stuff to where you should 
be able to get him stand just fine, be able to get his spear in his hand and hold it however you want. Now I'm going to show you him on my shelf with the other assassins. So there he is front and center with the other assassins in my collection on the shelf. He is up front right now but let's not kid ourselves. We know where he's going. So now there he is in his proper place. The same place he was in the actual games in the background. But that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with the videos. Thank you guys. Bye.